Hello and welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can deploy our Django application on AWS EC2. Okay, so we will complete this in five minutes. So uh, before we start, if you are not connected with me on LinkedIn, okay, so you can connect with me on LinkedIn. Okay, also you can follow me on GitHub. You will uh, get very interesting uh, GitHub repos from my account. Okay. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. Okay. This will help me to create more content. Okay. Let's go to uh, my Visual Studio code. Okay. This is my Django project. Okay. So if you're using your own Django project, okay, what you have to do first, you have to copy Jonicon, Nginx and scripts, these three folders to your project. Okay. Then you have to copy this user data dot asset into your project okay so let's uh me open this uh user data okay in the user data file okay you have to update the github repo okay if if your github repo is different okay if you're not using mine okay so you can update this okay then you have to update uh the project you know main directory currently you can see i am using django a uh, this this is my main directory or in this main directory I have manage.py file okay so that's why I'm using uh, this uh, main directory if your manage.py file is in any sub directory then you will need to you know uh, create a sub directory you will need to give a path okay but I have in a main parent directory so this is will be my folder name okay so then the, these are some you know it will clone and it will run these scripts okay it will you know uh, deploy your application just in one and two minutes okay so it is totally automation so let's me open the jonicon file okay in the jonicon dot service okay what you have to do okay you have to make sure you update this folder name okay which is currently my folder name okay it is a uh, folder name where your manage.py file is okay make sure the folder name is correct okay okay similarly in the second line you can see execute start uh, i have you know this is the folder name where my virtual environment is okay so basically uh, my virtual environment will be in my parent directory okay it will be automatically created by my scripts okay so you have to just update with your main directory uh, name okay if you you know stuck somewhere you can you know ask me uh, in the comments or you can send me a message on the linkedin okay then in this line, okay, you have to make sure you have to update this uh, folder name, okay, where your uh, uh, settings.py file is. Suppose if I open this, okay, and uh, so my file exists in this folder, so I have just given the path. If your folder is in a different uh, path, sub path, so you make sure your path is correct. Okay, so this is for this file, and if I open uh, Jonicon dot socket, you don't need to change anything in the socket file, okay, simple. And in the nginx config, okay. Here you have to, you know, uh, give uh, the path of your folder where your uh, manage.py file is, okay. So it, my I have in my parent, so I have just directly, you know, uh, written same. And this is static file. Some people uh, create static, okay. But I am uh, going to use static files, okay. So because mostly developers mistake, uh, you know comes through these nginx or junicon configuration because they put wrong folder names so make sure uh, you put correct uh, folders okay then in the scripts okay these are the scripts okay when we will create an aws ec2 instance all these script will be executed okay and it will you know uh, uh, you know this is you don't need to change anything in the after install and this is a junicon setup file make sure you update the folder name here okay and then you have to you know install dependencies you don't need to change anything in this file and nginx okay here you have to change the you know directory name where your uh, manage.py file is okay then uh, the settings file folder name if it's in a subdirectory then you have to just create a subdirectory make sure the path is correct okay so yeah then you have to no don't need to change anything in this uh, file okay then python dependencies here you also need to you know give the project uh, of a directory name okay then you don't need to change anything in this folder and the startup similarly in the startup you have to give the folder name okay so everything is fine okay so these are three folders i have explained to you okay and one more thing when you uh, deploy your application okay make sure 
the journey con uh, uh, package and the white noise is included in your requirement.txt okay so make sure these two are in your requirements.txt okay and the next uh, I will show you in my uh, where my urls.py in the settings.py uh, folder where uh, these files are okay make sure you have added these three lines okay and imported these two lines okay because uh, we are going to use nginx okay uh, to serve our static files okay uh, we need to make sure our configurations are fine because if you don't uh, uh, you know add these lines uh, your design will be messy okay so make sure uh, to follow this and last thing in the settings.py file make sure you add an installed app which is a white noise okay it helps to you know load your uh, static files and css media files then you have to add middleware okay and uh, yeah that's it okay and then just make sure your static urls and static uh, you know root okay these are you know defined okay that's fine okay so our project is you know ready to be deployed okay uh, new changes so what I will be going to do here, I will be going to jump into the AWS console, okay? If I go to the AWS console, okay, I will, you know, search EC2. I will go to the EC2 dashboard. And here I will create a new instance. Large an instance, okay, Django project, okay? And then we have we have to select Ubuntu machine, okay? Uh, this is uh, this tutorial is based on the Ubuntu Linux machine, okay? And then uh, I will choose this by default, okay? Then you can choose if your project is bigger or something. I'm just going with T2 Micro, okay? Then I have to create a key pair, okay? This key pair will be helpful to connect with the instance uh, later on, okay? I will explain, okay? Just uh, this file will be downloaded in your downloads folder, okay? So then we have to create a security group, okay? So it should allow SSH traffic and HTTP and HTTPS, okay? Then uh, in the advanced detail, if you click in the advanced detail, just scroll down, okay? You will see this user data. Just go to your uh, Visual Studio code where this is user data dot SSH. Just copy this, okay? And copy and paste, okay? So when you are done with this, okay, you have to just, uh, you know launch the instance one thing i will mention here okay my uh, repo is public okay that's why i am just using uh, you know this uh, public url okay if your repo is private okay you will need to you know add a username and token okay in this uh, url so your uh, repo will be cloned okay so it's very simple okay and uh, i'm just going to launch instance okay so instance is being launched, okay? It will automatically set up my Django project. I don't need to do anything, okay? So I will just wait for three to five minutes, okay? And after three to five minutes, I will just open the public IP and my application will be accessible, okay? So I'm just uh, waiting for three to five minutes. Okay, almost uh, five minutes gone. So I will just copy this public IP address and I will browse it. Okay, you can see my application is very quickly deployed, okay? So if your application is not, you know, you are getting any uh, uh, gateway error or any problems, okay? Your application is not loading, okay? Then it's mean you had you did a mistake in the JohnnyCon uh, settings or in the Nginx. So you have to check it or you can connect with me on LinkedIn and I will help out you, okay? So you can also connect with your instance to troubleshoot, okay? So if I just... Uh, click on connect and I will just go to SSH client I will copy this okay and I will open my terminal okay in the terminal I'm going to connect with this server okay I will make sure I'm in the correct uh, directory where I have downloaded my PIM file already okay so I will execute this okay then I will just copy the second command okay I will show you which one then you have to copy this example okay just copy this and run this then you will be connected with your instance as well if you want to troubleshoot or if you want to you know make any changes okay 
so you can see I am connected with my instance okay so if I just uh, you know ls you will see this was my project folder it was uh, downloaded okay but if you stuck somewhere you know uh, how to troubleshoot okay how to uh, find the problems you have to just run one command okay so you have to run this command okay it will tell you if any problems okay then you can share with me on my email or on LinkedIn I will be helping you okay so my you know there's a new error because my application is running successfully okay I will add some articles in this video okay if you want to get extra help okay so I think this was uh, today video and we have successfully deployed our application on AWS EC2. So subscribe to my channel and I will be coming with very very interesting topics okay. Uh, then see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.